This is Terry. Her husband, George, has COVID-19. She's caring for him at home and doing a great job following the guidelines. She has George resting in the guest bedroom. He needs to stay here, alone, as much as possible to avoid spreading the virus. He's got his phone and TV for entertainment. And his own trash can with a liner and lid for tissues, paper plates, and cups, and any other trash. Terry keeps the family dog, Rusty, away from George and outside of the room. <coughs> family and friends who stop by stay outside the house, keeping their social distance. When the weather is nice, George opens the window. A breeze keeps the virus from lingering in the room's air. And, based on what we know today, helps prevent the spread to others who come in. George has his own dedicated bathroom. After each use, he washes his hands for 20 seconds with soap and water, making sure to get his nails, thumbs, and the tops of his hands. He dries them with a clean paper towel and wipes the bathroom with disinfectant after each visit. George wears a mask as much as possible if it doesn't restrict his breathing. And Terry wears one every time she enters his room. She also puts on gloves if touching anything with George's bodily fluid, things like drinking glasses and bedding. As for trash, Terry checks her local health department rules so she knows how to throw it out properly. Her guidelines say double bag it before tossing it into normal trash pickup. She handles George's laundry carefully, making sure not to shake it. She washes it in the hottest possible water before drying it well. When she's done touching anything that could be infected, Terry throws her disposable gloves into a lined trash can with a lid. She washes her hands for 20 seconds, then takes off the mask without touching the front. She washes her hands again and dries them with a clean paper towel. She uses a new pair of gloves the next time she goes into George's room or touches anything. If she doesn't have gloves, she's careful not to touch her face at all while inside the room, and she washes her hands right after being there. After George moved into the guest room, Terry disinfected the whole house, top to bottom. Each day, she disinfects high-touch surfaces like doorknobs, light switches, appliances, counters, and railings. On some things, she uses homemade disinfectant, a mixture of one-third cup bleach and one gallon of water. It's proven effective against coronavirus based on what we know now. Terry also cleans small electronics like phones, TV remotes, and computers. When in doubt, she uses wipes and sprays with at least 70% alcohol, then dries them right away. She checks on George daily, morning, noon, and night, to see if he's better or worse. She will call the doctor with any concerns. If George gets much worse, has trouble breathing, or any other serious problems like chest pains or feeling dizzy or suddenly weak, she'll call 911. She'll tell them her husband has COVID-19 and both she and George will both put on face masks before the ambulance arrives. It's not always easy, but Terry does her best, making sure she and George rest often and eat well. She knows that with proper care, most people with coronavirus recover well at home.